What's up, Super Players? It's your homie C Rod, and in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about side deck cards and what cards you want to side if you're going to a best of three format. <laughs> So what I mean by that is you're going to a local tournament or a regional or a national if that's the case and you are that good. I'm going to give you guys the cards that are the best to side deck depending on what decks you're more often going to come across. So let's get straight into the video with the best side deck cards in the game. So first things first, I'm going to talk about the Dark Power Black Mass Saiyan. So the Dark Power Black Mass Saiyan is a very very strong card. Not only does it allow you to self awaken if your leader and the deck you're playing does not allow you to self awaken. It's a very powerful card to self awaken because when he attacks you pick up a life and on top of that it counters pretty much pan. It counters any deck that is heavily based on like chain attack Zeno or any chain attack type of deck. What I mean by chain attack, I mean chain attack trunks. So what Black Mass Saiyan does is whenever your opponent plays a battle card that's 15k power or less, your opponent's forced to drop cards out of their hand. So if they chain attack Zeno, you, they're going to be, instead of getting 5 cards to their hand, they're going to only have 3 cards in their hand and that's going to really, really hurt them. So Dark Power Black Mass Saiyan, maybe side 2 of them in to your side deck because you know chain attack Zeno is still very very powerful so then moving on after that we got you know Dende Dende new to the job is insanely good so Dende new to the job is an amazing uh, side deck card because when this card is side decked if you use it according to your, your matchup ideally killing any deck that runs objection or any deck that's heavily based on getting more energy than you uh, Dende pretty much blows himself up you use it uh, two extra energies not only uh, does he have an activate main you use two energies to blow up one of your opponent's energies you also draw a card when he comes out onto the field and uh, Dende is just gonna come in and stop the Shenron players you know those Shenron decks that you know objection get a lot of energy and then use world peace to play out the big heavy uh, Kaioken Goku or Master Ultra Instinct well Dende new to the job blows up their energy if they use an objection stopping them and slowing them down dramatically so after that uh, going against you know some of those decks that just swarm the field with so many battle cards we got Kami uh, global unified unifier global unifier <laughs> global unifier and uh, what this card does it's an amazing extra card I would side deck two of these and two of the Dendes and two of the black mass Saiyans for sure you can only run 15 cards in a side deck if you guys didn't know but what this card does is pretty much it draws your card when you play it and then for two energies you get to pretty much nuke the field just be like boom damn and blow up everything that's four cost or less ignoring barrier and uh, for that reason this card's very good to go against anything that plays the Kaba uh, Khalifa and Kale package that just literally has a lot of battle cards on the field or any deck that revolves around you know playing a bunch of battle cards on the field so it counters even the universe six uh, uh, members from the new set so then after that we have no escapes on Goku a very useful card if your you know your matchup your weakest matchup or decks that revolve around battle cards that uh, bounce back to the opponent's hand so no escapes on Goku what it does it pretty much prevents your opponent from getting any of their battle cards bouncing back to their hand so you know the Gogeta deck that runs the Gokus and Vegeta's that bounce back to their opponent's hand um, this card pretty much forces them to stay on the field and uh, this card is just an amazing card it also stops the Dende deck that revolves around path to infinity Goku where you uh, play the ultra instinct that uh, pretty much is a triple strike but in order to do that play you need to bounce a card back to your hand and uh, this card completely nullifies that deck and kills it so then after that we got supreme Kai of time time 
Disruptor. So this card right here is an amazing card as well. What it does, it prevents your opponent from bombarding you with multiple attacks. This is a counter play and it draws you a card. So pretty much when your opponent plays something, you could respond with a counter play. Early game, this is useful. And then you draw a card and then your opponent cannot attack you with two costs or less. So this protects you from any red deck that's very aggressive with spamming little one drops and two drops and try to like, you know, uh, pretty much aggro you to your death. This card completely stops those type of decks. And then after that, uh, we got Vegeta making an entrance. So Vegeta making an entrance is an amazing, amazing card to go against Janimba players. You're always going to be coming across Janimba players, I guarantee it. So you definitely want to side this card into your sideboard for sure. So Vegeta making an entrance, what it does, it allows you to put up to three cards from your deck that are three cost or more and 35k power or less back into your deck and uh, this is going to allow you to survive a turn or two from the Janimba milling you out and giving you no cards in your deck to draw anymore because this card literally puts cards back into your deck and it's a counter counter so you can play it when your opponent activates a counter. So very very amazing. Um, side deck card right here definitely want to put that guy because Janimba's all over the freaking world and then we got mercenary tell ruthless trainer so mercenary tell is a very very good de uh, card to use in your sideboard if your deck is uh, weak against hand destruction if you know your deck suffers if you get hand destruction down to your death um, mercenary tell is a card you definitely got to add into your sideboard because what this card does is if your opponent forces you to discard a card um pretty much what's gonna happen is your opponent has to warp three cards from their hand yeah that's insane right so your opponent's definitely not gonna want to make you discard cards so this card's very useful against toa it because it completely destroys their three drop mira that forces you to drop a card from your hand so this card is useful for, you know, Lord Slug, it kills the Lord Slug decks, it kills some Broly decks. This card is very, very useful if your deck suffers from hand destruction. And uh, it's also good against yellow slash green leaders. Then after that, I added Toa Dimension Leaper into the sideboard list as being one of the best sideboard cards. If anything, it might be one of the best cards right now. So Toa Dimension Leaper, it's a counter play. So when your opponent plays something, you can respond with a counter and play this card. And then this card is a blocker revenge. Meaning if your opponent plays a Kaioken Goku and they are trying to go for game, you respond with this card, you play this card, and then now you have a block reven revenge on board. And this block revenge, what it does, it's pretty much when your opponent attacks, you get to switch the attack to the Toa, and then whatever uh, your opponent attack with gets destroyed as well. That's the revenge ability. So this card is very, very useful against victory strike decks, against, you know, uh, Gogeta uh, decks. This card is just very useful to stop those heavy, like, big final push plays. And it's a it's a very versatile card. It can be splashed into any deck because they're black. And then Crisis Crushes on Goku is another card you might want to side deck in. It helps you pretty much stop any of your opponent's one drops from attacking. And this card is very useful if your deck... Uh, needs to stall out a little bit so crisis crushes on goku and it, it, it's very good it also blows up one drops as well so crisis crushes on goku is a card you definitely want to side deck if you know your deck suffers from having a bombardment of attacks of one drops and you also want to pop one drops from your opponent's side of the field and then another card that i know is an amazing one of the best legitly best uh, side deck cards uh, when you're going against yellow slash green leaders it happens to be Haru Haru so Haru Haru is an a is a crazy card so what it does is a three drop black card you play for three energies and you're able to restand four of your energies so this card restands an extra energy which is insane and on top of that um he also is a critical attack so this card is very, very, very useful if you're going against yellow slash green leaders. And then a card that kills the Broly decks and kills the baby decks 
are or pretty much kills any of your opponent's battle cards if they happen to be uh, heavy battle cards like six costs or more it happens to be Bardock Foley Unleashed this card is an amazing side deck card so what this card does it's over round five you get to warp all your opponent's battle cards <laughs> cards that are uh, six cost or more so it just removes them from the game and uh, then you have a 25k attack going in as well so this card is very useful to kill the Broly deck players and then I added the Mass Saiyan uh, the Mysterious Warrior into this list as well. There's so many side deck cards depending on how your deck runs and what are your weaknesses to your deck. That's how you want to, you know, decide which one of these cards you actually want to side deck to. I mean side deck in. So we got this Mass Saiyan. So this card is very useful to kill the Kid Goku decks because uh, the vanilla kid goku decks because they swarm a lot of one drops and two drops and three drops so this card one energy over round five and warp all the little dudes out of your opponent's face which is very very good to you know help you recover from your opponents swarming the field and also i added uh uh the the iconic blue slash red cards slash yellow cards like uh borgos Raditz the Oppressor, Whis, all these cards that pretty much prevent your opponent from restanding any energy are very useful. Very useful against uh, Shenron decks, very useful against uh, anybody that runs Sensu Bean, very useful to, you know, stop your opponent from putting cards to active mode for them to start some offensive pressure. So all these cards are good if you see your opponent restanding energy like crazy. And then last but not least, I wanted to add Mutai Ito and uh, some of the negates that are heavily uh, based on, you know, certain color decks that you run. So, you know, Time Magic, Mutai Ito, uh, Dimension Magic, you know, those cards are all good depending on, you know, specific color leaders. But Mutai Ito is a very, very powerful card, in my opinion. It stops Gogeta's, it stops any of your opponent's battle cards if they try to do one big killing play and Mutaito is that card that does that and then another card that's like Mutaito happens to be Champa the Trickster if you do not have a lot of money to drop on Mutaito play this card it does the same thing but you do need a dual color energy and a dual color like type of deck if you want to run uh, Champa the Trickster and last but not least the epitome of side deck cards the main one and letting me let me know in the comment section below if i missed your favorite side deck card but we added um double strike champa or supreme kai the double strike random out of nowhere you know supreme kai boom out of nowhere and this card is an amazing card to just side in and surprise your opponent with a finishing double strike attack and uh, that's going to be the end of the side deck cards, the best side deck cards you would want a side deck. And like I said, it all depends on you and your deck. And you got to know, all right, what does my deck suffer against the most? And then that's how you sideboard. So that's going to be in the video. Let me know in the comment section below if I missed your favorite side deck card or I missed a very important side deck card. I'm pretty sure I probably missed a couple, but these are predominantly the main, main, main ones that I see that people usually play and you would want to play based on the meta at this very moment. And like we always say, y'all stay super. Subscribe also, subscribe. <laughs>